Oh. Hello, Potato, and welcome to You Don't Have to Be Happy Hour. It is the holiday season, which means it's time to get into the holiday spirits. And today we're going to do that by checking out a holly jolly little concoction that hopefully will be good. From Left Hand Brewing Company, it is Candy Cane Nitro Imperial Peppermint Milk Stout. Super smooth for your enjoy mint. Now, I've found that I think that stout, so I think, I think Guinness is a stout, right? And I like Guinness, so I'm having high hopes for this. Although I don't think Guinness is a milk stout, which is a totally different thing. This is a, yeah, it's, as I said, it's Imperial Peppermint Milk Stout. It's good to go from the can, 9.5% alcohol by volume, so it's a fairly hefty beer. But ready to go from the can, is there? Now, if you've watched many You Don't Have to Be Happy Hours, particularly ones involving beers, you'll know that I know next to nothing about beers other than I'm pretty sure I don't like IPAs. So when you tell me this is good to go from the can, that makes me think, have I been doing something wrong all this time? Have I not been doing something to beer? Is there like some extra prep work to opening a can of beer that I was previously unaware of? Because of course I grew up in the US, I grew up in the, the world of Bud and Coors, and if you're feeling real fancy, Dos Equis. So the idea of beer being more involved than pouring it out of a can or a bottle or out of a tap and having to do something with it is uh, is new to me. Let's see, is there anything interesting on the package? Where is this from? And how did it get splots on the top? Oh, there's, there's words on the bottom here. Enjoy in a 50 to 55 degree Fahrenheit in a goblet. Well, I'm not. We're going to... Use that as I always do. There's actually ingredients. I don't think I've ever had a beer that listed the ingredients. I, I, I like that. I'm happy to see that. Ingredients. Rocky Mountain Water, Malted Barley, Lactose, Dextrose, Flaked Oats, Hops, Peppermint, and Yeast. Imperial Milk Stout with Peppermint Added, Candy Cane Nitro. Super smooth for your enjoyment. Take a walk down Candy Cane Lane and experience the aromas of rich chocolate, fresh peppermint, and a hint of coffee. This smooth, full-bodied Imperial Peppermint Milk Stout is reminiscent of peppermint bark and will keep you warm and cozy on a cold winter's night. So snuggle up to the fire and enjoy the moment. So, who are they they're from? I said, does they from where they're from? Uh, Colorado. They're from Longmont, Colorado. 1993, Left Hand Brewing Company has been composing a well-balanced portfolio of craft beers and is proud to be one of the most honored and recognized breweries in the United States. All right, well, this should be interesting. Uh, we, have, we have all these flavors here, things that I'm interested in. Uh, we've got, got peppermint I like. We've got coffee I like. We've got chocolate I like. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Is there a special way to open the package? Uh, looks like over here would be a flap. Would you there be like the perforations or something in here? So sadly, this... Uh, and of course, obviously, this is another one of those times where I've bought the beer based on the package. Because uh, let's face it. That's rather fetching and holiday-ish. Sadly, it's not one I'll be able to add to my book of labels. It is actually printed on the metal, and I am not fool enough to try to cut apart a can and put it into a photo album. So we'll just have to enjoy it. I have three more of them that I can enjoy. And as I don't actually normally drink all that much, uh, they may sit around for a while. Let's crack this open. Super smooth for your enjoyment. Good from the can, like a pro in a glass. I I don't... I'm guessing there must be something to do, especially maybe with nitro beers. Oh, that was a good hiss. That uh, I am unaware of. All right, let's see if we can not make a mess. Okay, so it looks... It's very dark, not... I'm going to say not quite Guinness dark. Ooh, we do have that... We do have that cool nitro effect of the bubbles just kind of water falling down the inside of the glass. Love to see that. It's a pretty, pretty thing to see. Okay, I guess is with the uh, with the bubbles kind of focusing out and turning into the head, which also looks nice and creamy. I think a nice crema on a coffee. Actually, looking at this, looks kind of like a coffee. Now, with a nice bit of good little crema head on the lid. You know, you know, yeah, it's about as dark as Guinness, I guess. Uh, the smell is entirely of beer. No, no surprises there. It doesn't smell. I'm not getting peppermint. I'm not getting chocolate. I'm not getting coffee. And to be fair, the last time I did 
a coffee, it was a coffee Guinness. All it really made me do is want just normal Guinness. It didn't, it didn't work that well for me. But let's see how this goes. Well, let's, let's face the label to the can so we can get the full, full effect here of our candy cane Imperial Stout. Yeah, scent wise, just beer. It smells, it smells, it smells like Guinness, it's, uh, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting peppermint, I'm not getting chocolate, I'm not getting coffee. I'm getting stout, which is not a bad thing. So let's, let's see if I get those things in the flavor. I'd say not overwhelmingly so. I was kind of expecting a more upfront pepperminty flavor of it. And it really just, I'm getting mostly just the stout, which is not a bad thing, except of course I did buy candy cane peppermint snout, if expecting it to be, you know, more candy cane-ish. I do think, I think the peppermint is manifesting for me almost as more of a, like a slightly cooling effect. I feel like, you know when you drink like, like distilled spirits in particular, you feel that warmth in your chest. I'm feeling like a chill in my chest. I think that's where the peppermint is manifesting for me. I'm not getting, I'm not getting notes of chocolate and coffee and mint in the, uh, in the beer itself, in the flavor of it. But I'm getting like a little bit of a, like a pepperminty cooling effect, like a little bit on my, when I breathe in, like through my mouth after swallowing some, I do feel like that kind of, like a subtle version of that, that cooling effect you get when you, you know, suck on a peppermint candy and then breathe in. So I'm getting less of a taste of peppermint and more of a feel of peppermint. But aside from that, regardless, if maybe I wasn't expecting it to be pepperminty, this would be a perfectly lovely beer. Uh, I think this does, does cement that what I do like is stouts, which I, I guess, is that odd? Is people liking the dark beers who don't care for most beer? Is that a weird thing? Is that normal? I don't, I don't know, because I've always heard like that people are supposed to like, like only certain people like dark beers, but everybody likes light beers. And I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I do wonder, I mean, I wonder if, if I drink it from a goblet, would they, cause I know, you know the shape of the glass and the scent of things definitely changes the way it tastes. So I do wonder if maybe the flavoring like would be, would be different as I'm inhaling it through due to the shape of the glass instead of my little little uh, glass that I use in all these videos. You will say I'm a little disappointed that I'm not getting more peppermint flavor out of it. Uh, the peppermint feel is interesting though. It's got, again, it has like a nice, it leaves like a nice kind of refreshing, chilled mouth feel when you're done. And a little bit in the chest, a little, little like kind of pepperminty coolness as it goes down. And I do like that, but honestly, if it didn't, if it didn't say peppermint on the front, I would find this to be a perfectly lovely beer just based on it being, you know, perfectly lovely beer. It's a nice stout. It's got a good, strong flavor to it. It's not like overly bitter, but it's got a good, strong flavor. It's a little harsh if you push it around the mouth. You know, the more I drink, and I don't know if I'm talking myself into it, I am. I am getting more of a sense of the peppermint. Again, not really flavor, but more the feel. Like the feel is like accumulating in my mouth. Like it feels cooler than just the temperature of the beer, but like cooler in my mouth. But that's it. If you gave me peppermint bark that tasted like this, that would be very weird peppermint bark indeed. But this, as a beer, this is not bad. I, I definitely am going to enjoy the rest of these, enjoy the rest of this one. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, helpfully, it will make the spirit that much brighter. So that was Left Hand Brewing Company's Candy Cane Nitro Imperial Peppermint Milk Stout. Not so much to me on the peppermint in the flavor, but definitely the peppermint in the feel. And um, yeah, it does not, it does not make me think of peppermint bark in any way, shape or form, but it does make me think it's a good stout beer and that it must be stouts that I actually like. So that I'm gonna go finish my beer before all the nitro 
goes away. It does also have that, I suppose I should mention, it does have that nice that smoothness of a nitro-infused beer compared to just normal carbonation. So that's uh, also nice. It was not, I mean, the, the bigger factor to me really was the can was cute. And uh, I wanted to try a peppermint milk stout. But yeah, that will wrap this up. I hope you found it all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Have you tried Left Hand Brewing Company's Candy Cane Nitro Imperial Milk Stout? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And what am I missing about the flavor? I, I found that uniformly when I buy a beer that says it tastes of peanut butter or milk stout or chocolate or pecan pie, it always just tastes of beer. Although I had like a peanut butter cup beer, I think last year, that was quite nice. I think I think it did taste a little bit more of like chocolate. I think it was a stout as well. Anyways, yeah, let me know what am I, what I'm missing. I know nothing about beer. I buy it based upon what the can looks like. So yeah, thank you for watching. And remember, angels we have heard on high tell us to go out and buy. And I'll see you in the next video.